Hello, Fee Jameson Folland beaming in with this week's topic, which is all about conscious living. And um, it's about the topic of, in, in particular, um, what I call my COVID moment, which helped me to literally wake up. So that was back in 2002, as you will have maybe um, heard me mention, which is when we actually had our um, our knockdown, not a pedestrian crossing, that was Chris and I, rather than a lockdown. And you may have heard Chris refer to that, um, my husband, the financial health coach, in this concept that um, it can take things stopping in our lives and like a force from the outside that causes that to happen before um, many of us will reevaluate. And that was certainly our circumstance that we were trucking along. The juggernaut was moving in this direction in our lives and we were really set on this what we were up to and in many ways we were asleep to what was really going on which was that this direction that we we're going in didn't quite fit uh, for whatever reason for a variety of reasons and I think for many of us over this time of um, the lockdown that's probably may well been happening in your country and that, uh, right now at the time of filming that's happening for us at the moment here in New Zealand at level three currently and gives you a clue as to when I was recording this here in the you probably see behind me it's very beautifully sunny it's lovely um, still seemingly endless, endless summer, it's lovely, is this concept that many of us are, you know, this time of stillness and um, perhaps re-evaluation for many, um, time with loved ones, time not doing anything, whereas it would have been filled with a world, world of life. And so it's this, for me, this COVID moment was a chance to literally wake up. It's a concept that my sister has spoken about, which is Helen, which is we can literally be going through the motions in our lives as if we're asleep. So it's like we're sleepwalking. And I, I chose to wake up at that time and it's allowed me to realize that times like this, when for many people, they've lost their income. If, um, for some, their health has been the, the most important and highest value item that we have, or commodity is our health, and for us, our loved ones. And so I'm privileged to say that, you know, for Chris and I, we're, we're well, our family, our friends, those we love the most, and, um, um, most across the board are doing well, which is fantastic. But it's this opportunity to wake up and to be conscious and to have our, um, our own COVID moments, you know, whenever those, those may be. And it may be that it's flat tack for you, you're an essential worker, it's all, all go right now and there's not really much time to stop and pause. In fact, you've been busier than ever. And so may, now may not be your time, but maybe when, it's, um, think, when things have eased off or maybe you're dealing with health challenges. And so, yeah, for, to me, this offers, it offers an opportunity um, when it's not, you know, when it hasn't thrown us out too much, that it's an opportunity to um, become conscious. And at that time, when um, back in 2002, when we were literally knocked down and Chris lost his short term memory after smashing the windscreen with his head and fractured his skull, bruised his brain, I needed to have my knee reconstructed, had a, a full on um, comp complex fracture of my left shoulder as well. And so we, um, we were able to stop and, um, and reevaluate that in that process becoming more aware for me that it was, I'm absolutely passionate about being able to uh, be more conscious with my choices in my life to not only just be simply looking after my own needs. And that was one big, big area that's opened up such that it's now you know, my main driver in many ways. So privilege indeed. So if you found this concept useful, the concept of waking up or conscious living, then please do share because you never know it could be a game changer for someone you know. Until I see you on this week's Alive with Fee, please do keep sharing your sunshine and ciao for now.